Hi friends, welcome to Edupedia World. This is Varun Ganga. Friends, in our last session, we have seen some examples regarding how to find the cube of a given four-digit number by using Yavadunam Sutra as well as Anurupena Sutra. With regard to the same concept, in this session, we are going to have a look of some more examples. So, let us see what those examples are. Example that I am going to take in this session is Find the cube of 1051. So friends, in order to find the cube of a four digit number, we do have some parts of process that we have to follow. So the first part of process is the left part. So here in the left part, the first step what we have to do is, we have to find the nearest base of the given number. So here, the given number is 1051 and the nearest base for this number is 1000. And finding the nearest base, moving to step number 2. Now what we have to do is, we have to find the excess. And this excess is found out by comparing the given number with the base. So here the given number is 1051 and the base is 1000. If you compare these two numbers, we get an excess of 51. And this excess is taken as our excess over here. After finding the excess, now moving to step number 3. Now what we have to do here is, we have to multiply the excess with the number 3. So therefore by multiplying 51 into 3, we get 153 as the product. After getting this product, Again, we have to add this product to the base what we have got. So therefore, 1000 plus 153 is equals to 1153. And this 1153 is regarded as the required left part. After completing the process of left part and moving to the process of middle part, the first step what we have to do is, we have to take the answer what we have got in the left part and we have to find the nearest base as well as excess. So here the nearest base of the left part answers that is 1153 is 1000 and the excess it is got up by comparing the numbers 1153 with the base 1000. So if you compare these two numbers we get an excess of 153 and this excess is taken over here. After finding the nearest base and excess moving to step number 2, now what we have to do here is we have to multiply the new excess that is 153 with the actual excess that is 51. So by multiplying 153 with the number 51, we get 7803 as the product. And this product is regarded as the required middle part. After completing the process of middle part, now let us move to the process of right part. So here in the right part, the first and last step what we have to do is, we have to find the cube of actual excess. So here the actual excess what we have got is 51 and therefore we have to find the cube of 51. So friends, I think you know that 51 it is a two digit number. So in order to find the cube of a two digit number it is somewhat difficult for us. So in order to get that difficulty off, now what I am going to do here is, I am going to apply an Arupena Sutra in order to find the cube of 51. So when we are applying an Arupena Sutra, at first we have to write these two numbers in the following way. So let us write those numbers as 5 cube, 5 square into 1, 5 into 1 square and 1 cube. Now let me place some horizontal and vertical bars like this. Now let us write all the answers of all these parts below the horizontal bar. So if you do 5 cube, we get 125. So if you do 5 square into 1, we get 25 into 1 and which is equals to 25. And 5 into 1 square, it is 5 into 1 and therefore we get 5. So 1 cube, we get only 1. Now let me place one more horizontal bar below it. So friends, here now what we have to do is, we have to double the numbers what we have got in second part as well as in third part. So if we double the number in third part that is 5, we get 10. And if we double the number in second part that is 25, we get 50. Now let me place one more horizontal bar. So friends, here you can see two rows, that is first row and the second row. Now what we have to do is, we have to add up these two rows. So here in the fourth part, we don't have any numbers to add up. So therefore, I'm writing this one directly over here. And if you come to the third part, here we are having 5 and 10. And if you add these two numbers, we get 50. And now coming to second part, here we are having 25 and 50. If you add these two numbers, we get 75 as the answer. And finally, if you come over here, that is in the first part, we are having 125. And we don't have any other numbers to add up. So therefore, we have to write directly 125 over here. Now let me place one more horizontal bar. So friends, I think you know that here we are using Anurupena Sutra in order to find the cube of a two digit number. So therefore, here we have to keep only one digit in the fourth part, in the third part and in the second part. But here in the first part we can have as many digits as we want. 
So now coming to the fourth part here, we are having only one digit number that is one, so there is no problem in it. But if you come to the third part here, we are having 15, it is a two digit number. So therefore we have to take the digit in one's place that is five in our answer and the remaining digit that is one should be taken as carry on to the second part and we have to add to it. So by taking one and by adding to 75, we get 76 as the answer. 76, again it is a two digit number. So therefore we have to take the digit that is six as our answer and the digit seven should be taken as carry on to the first part and we have to add to it. So therefore by taking seven and by adding to 125 we get 132 as the answer. But in the first part we can have as many digits as we want. So there is no problem in it. Now let me place one more horizontal bar below it and let me write all the answers what I have got in the first, second, third and fourth parts. So here in the fourth part I have got 1, in the third part I have got 5, and in the second part I have got 6, and finally in the first part I have got 132. So therefore now by combining all the parts of answers what I have got, I get the final answer that is 51 cube is equals to 132,651. And now the number 132,651 is regarded as the required right part. Now. After completing the process of right part, now let us write all the answers that is the left part, the middle part and the right part in an order like this. And let us place some horizontal and vertical bars like this. So friends, I think you know that here we are finding the cube of a four digit number and the base that we have taken here is 1000. So therefore we have to take only three digits in right part as well as in middle part. So if you observe the right part answer, what we have got, it is a six digit number that is 132,651. So therefore I'm taking here 651 in my answer and I'm sending the remaining digits that is 132 as carry on to the middle part and I'm adding to it. So now by taking this 132 and by adding to 7,803, we get 7,935 as the answer. But again, it is a four digit number. So therefore we have to take the three digits that is 9, 3, 5 and the remaining digit that is 7 should be taken as carry on to the left part. So if you take this 7 as carry on to the left part and if you add with 1153 we get 1160. Here in the left part we can have as many digits as we want. And let me place one more horizontal bar and let me write all the answers what I have got in the right part, in the middle part and in the left part. So here in the right part I have got 651 and in the middle part I have got 935 and in the left part I have got 1160. So friends, this process is called as special rules of additions and carry-ons in order to get the answer. So now by combining all the parts of answers, we get the final answer. So that is 1042 cube is equals to 1 billion 160 million 935,651. So friends, this is the way how we can use Yavadunam Sutra and Anurupena Sutra in finding the cube of a given four digit number. I hope that you have understood pretty well how to use these two sutras in finding the cube of a four digit number. In the next session we will be having some more examples regarding with the same concept. For watching this video, thank you, have a nice day.